Hello everybody, my name is John Parkinson and welcome back to the WordPress Community Interview Series. And with me today is Ahmad Awais. And Ahmad, why don't you uh, go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, thank you John for having me here. Uh, I'm Ahmad Awais, uh, I'm a full stack web developer. Uh, I have been uh, developing websites with WordPress for a little over 10, 10 years now. Uh, I am also a core contributor. I have been contributing to almost every single uh, major release since WordPress 4.2. Uh, I, I write a lot about WordPress and I develop a lot of stuff with WordPress. You can find me literally sharing and talking about WordPress in almost uh, all kind of WordPress community <laughs> areas there are. And I'm a big fan of open source and free and open source software. I have built uh, WordPress Gulp, uh, which is a Gulp boilerplate for WordPress, and then a Sublime package for WordPress customizer, which is being used by more than a thousand developers in like less than two months. Wow. So that's about it. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. And you were part of the uh, group uh, that uh, were involved in the WordPress week. Uh, that was held in Pakistan uh, about a year and a half ago, is that correct? Yes, you are. Basically, there's a funny little story there. Uh, I'm an electrical engineer now, uh, and uh, while I was studying electrical engineering, I got involved with, with the WordPress community, and uh, I started learning more and more about web design and development, and by the time I graduated, I had already conducted like about 33 workshops about web, mostly about WordPress. So, uh, and uh, being involved with the WordPress community, I always uh, knew that the local community can also be the part of uh, the global WordPress community. So, uh, and at, at that time, I remember in 2013, there were no uh, meetup groups or nothing like that. There were groups for Microsoft and uh, closed source software mostly, nothing about open source. So uh, when I started my web agency and we were doing uh, mostly uh, the work with WordPress, uh, we faced a lot of uh, uh, trouble finding uh, the fresh graduates who knew about WordPress already. So uh, then we uh, uh, organized this thing called uh, WordPress Week. What happened was I started uh, a nonprofit uh, initiative called WordPress Pakistan. Uh, and the goal behind it was to get software developers excited about WordPress here in the local community. Uh -huh. Most of them didn't know about how open source is different from closed source and stuff like that. So what we did was we targeted uh, software engineering students and we did uh, conduct, I partnered up with uh, Faint Tanks, which is a, a, a training startup. And along with them, we had like 20 volunteers uh, and we uh, managed to pull off this WordPress week uh, had more than 750 participants in it. Wow. It was just like uh, uh, an unofficial WordCamp or something. And we, uh, I remember I, I all, we, we almost ran out of space and we had to, you know, split the uh, sessions into three. I remember giving the same talk to three different sessions in three consecutive days. And oh, it was quite fantastic. Dark. Wow. And, and having that so, many people, I'm, and apparently the, uh, uh, the venue uh, that you were at was pretty much uh, uh, bulging at the seams, if I can say that. Uh, people were outside in the hallways uh, trying to listen. Yeah, they, they were outside in the hallways, and we had almost like uh, nine or ten sponsors. So but it was it was jam-packed uh, wow. event, and it was a lot of fun. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Uh, now, if you don't mind me asking, uh, you contribute back to the uh, core uh, of WordPress, and what would you uh, suggest uh, for people to, if they were interested in uh, uh, contributing back to WordPress, uh, what kind of areas can they look in to uh, try to give back? Uh, well, uh, John, uh, I think so. The biggest difference between open source software and closed source software is uh, giving back to it. Uh, the, it is an incredible 
uh, ingredient of uh, an open source community that the people involved in that community are giving back to that community. Uh, so when I started back in uh, uh, in Lahore, I didn't know how, uh, there was no local community about WordPress where I live at that time. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to get involved in the WordPress community, mostly in the US and Europe. Most, most of the WordPress community is there. So uh, while there were many guides about how to contribute to the core and how to develop code and whatnot, there is no you know guide about how to get involved with the WordPress community itself. Yes. So so uh, I kept reading on blogs, uh, and uh, one of these days I found out that the best way to you know get involved with the people uh, people of a, an open source community is to give back, is to you know go out of your way and help a competitor support their own tickets on support forums and whatnot, and build uh, free plugins and, uh, you know, contribute to the core in any way. Uh, maybe it, it could even be through, you know, uh, uh, contributing to the documentation part of that or through code or through helping out in support forums. But once I did start doing that, uh, uh, I know how good it, it feels, and I think so. Uh, more than thirty percent of my time on nearly basis is uh, going to that uh, part of that, uh, you know, uh, open source concept of our WordPress community, uh -huh. and it's quite fun. It, it is the best way to get involved, yes. <laughs> basically. Yes, uh, and uh, for anybody that uh, would be interested, they could go to the make.wordpress.org. Uh, website yep. and see all of the different uh, teams uh, where they can contribute back if they so desire. Yeah. And you mentioned the uh, the global aspect of uh, WordPress, um, and, and that is something uh, that I understand, uh, but um, sometimes, uh, you know, like you and I were uh, trying to uh, fit together, uh, get our schedules to fit. Sorry about that. No, no problem. No problem. Just a yeah. bump in the road. <laughs> <laughs> there, have, there have been many. <laughs> yes, yes. Since last time. <laughs> okay, we were talking about <laughs> global WordPress, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, okay, let me think here where I kind of left off. Uh, um, just kind of, okay, uh, so working uh, globally uh, with people, you're spanning all of the time zones across the world. Um, how about uh, your thoughts on different people, how they deal with that um, when, you know, you're, you're working, uh, it's 4 p.m. Uh, where you're at or 20 after right now, um, and you're trying to contact somebody that it's uh, 6 a.m. in the morning. Uh, how do you deal with that, uh, on, you know, like when you're working in core? Yeah. Well, uh, most of the time, uh, I'm kind of a night owl. <laughs> You'll okay. find me working through the night and sleeping it off in the morning. Uh, there basically is no way around it. Uh, uh, there is a lot of empathy and diversity in WordPress uh, community, though most of it is uh, in the US and in Europe, as I uh, just mentioned. But a lot of uh, people have been talking about accessibility, and Morton just gave in a, a very good talk about uh, empathy. Tofer has started HeroPress, which is an incredible, uh, you know, resource for uh, folks in South Asian countries where uh, WordPress community is not as strong as uh, it is in uh, in the U.S. So there is uh, obviously a vacuum, and it is obviously a trouble to deal with. But uh, I think so. Uh, uh, it can only be improved from here on out. Mm -hmm. uh, just about last month, uh, I heard about. Uh, RT Camp, uh, Automatic has partnered up with them, and uh, they are now a VIP agency, uh, first VIP agency in uh, you know a South Asian country. Oh. I was very much excited about it. Great. So, uh, so things have been happening. Uh, I think so. Uh, there is a vacuum that needs to be addressed. There exists a, a big gap, but uh, I'm sure we are going to overcome it uh, sooner than uh, rather than later. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Now. Um... You are involved uh, as an administrator in the Facebook group uh, Advanced WordPress, or AWP. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that? 
Well, in 2012 or in 2013, I found this incredible group of advanced WordPress developers, and they had been discussing a lot of good stuff about WordPress uh, on Facebook. I joined it, and about a little over a year ago, uh, Ansel and Matt Cromwell reached out, and they asked me if I want to be one of the admins. Since uh, there is a big difference in the time zones, they could you know, uh, uh, use someone to moderate along that time zone as well. Uh, and since then, it's been a fun ride. Uh, we are we, we are like thirty people, and uh, in the administrator group, and uh, that is an incredible group. If you are uh, anyone who is serious about WordPress development, you should definitely check it out. We just have a WordPress giveaway. Uh, you might already know about. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We hit the 20,000 uh, mark in the members uh, uh, almost in June. And uh, along with my partner in crime, Madha Batul, uh, we spent like 100 hours managing that giveaway. It was a huge giveaway, $100,000 in, oh, uh, wow. you know, prizes. And uh, I think so. It was, it was very tough, but it was fun at the same time. Wow, fantastic. <laughs> Anyone uh, who uh, you know got to know about that uh, advanced WordPress group is having a giveaway, uh, or anyone we reached out to, you know, was more than interested in participating. Was more than interested in participating uh, with us, uh, and this basically goes to, you know, uh, tell how generous uh, the WordPress community is. Yes. I mean, dollar hundred thousand is not a small amount. <laughs> <laughs> not, no, not an issue, so, not an issue. I can edit sorry, that out. No, no, no problem. <laughs> uh, well, I really can't think of any other questions uh, at this time. Uh, do you have anything that you would like to add? Uh, not really. Uh, it was very fun uh, talking with you. Yes. And I think so. Uh, uh, WordPress community should, you know, be more diverse. And... Uh, uh, I think so. If we have a WordCamp uh, next year here, uh, I would like to, you know, uh, ask you guys to come along and see how things are here. <laughs> oh, great, great. Uh, you know, it's, uh, um, I am uh, a user, uh, not a developer or designer, um, mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, I still have the, feel the need to uh, give back to the community, and I do like uh, mm -hmm. to attend uh, uh, word camps and I have not uh, gone out of the US yet uh, mm -hmm. so uh, I need to make a sincere effort here sometime in the next couple years uh, to do yep. that and and we'll see what happens uh, but I do appreciate your time uh, um, you know very much so uh, and hopefully one day we will get to meet each other and uh, chat for a few minutes sure sure okay thank you so much have I'll be looking forward have a good day